Fortnite Chapter 6 live event is starting very soon. And it looks like the event is going to start from the start of November till the beginning of December. And the very first event has been announced, a remix of the Prelude. And if you guys don't know the meaning of Prelude, it basically means an event which is an introduction to something more important. The event is scheduled to take place on November 1st, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. It looks like there is going to be another 10 to 12 hours of downtime before we go to the new season. Now that we've got a countdown, this proves us that this is going to be a full-on event with a dedicated uh, playlist, unlike the Doomsday event, which was an in-game event. In fact, there is actually six different phases for this event. The first part of this event has already begun. You can see see on the screen the rift beacon slowly charging up for the event and you can see on the screen the destination of where we will end up which is going to be chapter 2 map but it is not going to be the exact same replica of chapter 2 it's going to be a remixed version in our next phase we will see this rift beacon shoot a beam of energy creating a giant rift on the screen and what happens after that will shock everyone one. Before that, I'm giving away three battle pass to a lucky subscriber. All you have to do is subscribe and comment down below. I use your code SMJM. And if you want to help me out, please use code SMJM and like this video. Now, the final phase before the main live event is going to be this Rift Beacon shooting a beam of light. And it is basically creating this Rift, which I believe we will use during the live event to go to the Fortnite Chapter 2 Remix map for our our next phase, it looks like we are going to see someone or something charge up. You can see this electrical VFX. And for our next phase, during the main event, we will see some kind of a light beam shine from the sky. And we will start to see images appear on the sky. Now, lots of people are saying that this might be the last reality showing up, or at least a teaser for the live event that we are going to get at the end of the remix season which will take us to chapter 6. They're saying the last reality is going to be the final live event. So it makes a lot of sense. Why would there be a light shining from the sky? We know that the last reality is out there somewhere. And if you remember during the final event of chapter 2, a massive portal was opened by the cube queen in the sky and we saw the last reality out there in space. They failed that that day because the seven flipped the island maybe they're still waiting for a good opportunity to attack and this is a perfect time to attack because the map is very vulnerable and that was because dr doom not only a lot of manpower and resources went into defeating doom also during doom's event he destroyed a bunch of rift beacons which ended up destabilizing and spawning bunch of evil creatures and locations from different realities. Meaning this island is slowly being corrupted. This would be the perfect time to attack. Also the last reality when they show up it won't be to take over Fortnite Island. All they want is one thing which they have been chasing ever since chapter 1 and that is at the zero point. According to the leakers the zero point will make an appearance most likely during this live event if not during chapter 6 and if you have been following the last reality and you would know that the only reason why they are here is to take possession of the zero point if you remember in chapter 1 the cube island which was sent by the last reality tried to take control of the zero point but it failed in chapter 2 after being exposed by galactus they showed up yet again but dr sloan hit hid the zero point and blew up our UFO mothership. And after chapter three, they were supposed to be here again when the zero point was just floating in space. Fortnite even made a trailer where you can see the zero point escaping from the last reality. Also, the Peace Syndicate during chapter four said that they were collecting information on them because they think they're getting closer and someone actually destroyed all of their datas. 
I think this is quite obvious that they will return now that the island is vulnerable yet again. And it looks like the zero point is coming back. Now, the image that you see in this video is not going to be the exact same. This is just a placeholder to show you what it's going to look like. After this, for our next phase, some kind of cinematics will play on the screen. At this point, we will have the ability to zoom in and see what is being played on the screen. Now, we think this might be maybe Chapter 2 Island trailer. But this could be anything. It could be a message from the last reality. Also, a lot of people think that this might be a concert, a possible Marshmallow concert because a bunch of teaser for next season was sent to content creators. Inside the box, there was a tape with a music made by a Marshmallow. And you can see this a teaser. There is a DJ set when the Rift Beacon is active. You never know, a Marshmallow, whilst doing a concert, might take us to the Chapter 2 map. Also, during this event, four locations will get destroyed. Obviously, storyline-wise, they have to make sense why we are leaving this island. Chapter 1 was the Black Hole. Chapter 2 was the last reality made the island completely unlivable. Chapter 3 got destroyed. Chapter 4 was not really a proper map. It was just a temporary created by the zero points. Also, like I mentioned earlier, most likely the zero points will play a part during this event because a bunch of assets that is used to create the zero point has been added to the game. And also, a bunch of these butterflies are in the teaser. Now, obviously, the final thing we are going to do is escape this island. Lots of people are saying that if you remember the portal during the end of OG Chapter 1, we saw a bunch of these realities. And inside one of the realities, we saw a bunch of Chapter 2 stuff. So most likely, we will end up inside of that reality. Like I mentioned earlier, it's not going to be exactly a copy of Chapter 2. It's going to be a remixed version where it's going to be similar, but very different. And also, they think one of these portals will take us to chapter six as well. And once we get to the chapter two map, this is going to be a one month season. Each season is going to last for one week, except for chapter two, season two, which is going to last for two weeks. And like I mentioned earlier, this is part of this huge event that will lead us to chapter six, meaning throughout the season, we will keep getting different storyline build up to this huge event at the end of the chapter. Lots of people think just like this whole season itself, the live event that will take us to chapter 6 is going to be a mix of different live events that took place during chapter 2. But it looks like they're gonna focus more on the Doomsday event. Obviously, during chapter 2 season 2, Midas created this device to stop the Fortnite storm and to escape the Fortnite loop. And even though the device worked, his plan was sabotaged by the Imagine Order. They replaced the storm with a massive wave of tsunami. But this time around, the Imagine Order obviously does not exist. A bunch of assets from the Doomsday event has been added to the game, so we think Midas is going to try again. But this time around, instead of the Imagine Order, he's going to be interrupted by the Lost Reality. So the device will go completely crazy and we will somehow end up in space again and then we will see this chapter 6 portal and if we go inside we will end up on the chapter 6 map and once we reach chapter 6 there's going to be a lot of changes made most likely we are going to see this physics applied in game also a huge changes to the battle pass has been made during chapter 6 the battle star system where you had to buy levels to unlock rewards now you will be able to buy directly without having to buy battle stars also vertical running will most likely be introduced during chapter six and in mechanics everyone has been waiting the first person camera view is most likely will be introduced during chapter six as well and if it does it's going to be around chapter six season two again i'm giving away three battle passes to three lucky subscribers all you have to do is 
subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below. I use your code SMJM.